Hey everyone, this is Blackbinder. Welcome back to the Let's Play of Baldur's Gate, Tales of the Sword Coast, Enhanced yeah, Edition, all that lovely goodness. Last time we left off, we were getting towards the end of the Nashkel Mines, and tr we hopefully are going to find out what is ailing it. Yes. We are all hurt a little bit, so I want to try and rest before we go in here. Quick load. Alright, let's go ahead and heal up Rasad, because we're going to need him to tank a little bit coming up. Unfortunately, everyone's going to possibly have to tank coming up. <clears throat> let's make sure everybody has ammunition. I don't like that. There we go. Yes, everybody except for Rasad. Alright, before you go around this corner, make sure you quick save. Because even our most hardy tank is going to have trouble with its onslaught if we get unlucky. Alright, there's only one kobold commander, so we lucked out. I think on insane, there's more. I usually have to reload that one multiple times. Yes. Alright, who's got the fire arrows? She does. Still can't identify them. Alright, we're going to go around this corner first. It's kind of cool what this is. It's just, I don't know what it's supposed to be, but it looks like a big, I don't know, meteorite halfway into the ground. 175 experience and a gem. Pretty sure that's the only thing over here, but we'll check anyway. Yep. What is it this time? It shall be as you wish. I'm running into a problem because I want to keep playing this game, but like, uh, it gives me a headache kind of to have headphones on too long. But I really want to play this game, so <laughs> I'm gonna have to be throwing out videos like crazy probably. All right, we want. Rasad in Minsk place yes. for now, and Minsk in place of Kivin. Of it shall be as you wish. Just because of the way things are gonna work out. It shall be as you wish. Get everybody in the corner. My blade will cut you okay. down to size. Go up here. Hopefully we don't get seen. We need to drag these kobolds over here. It's going to be lots more later, but we want to. We don't want to add more trouble than we're already going to be in once we start this boss fight. Boss fight's going to have lots of baddies and one very annoying baddie who's not so easy to kill. Alright, what do we want to do here? I, you do not want to pull him up here, the boss. So what you want to do is get into this little area. If you can. Problem being, sometimes he sees you. Okay, I think we're good. Alright, this is Zan. He's like a perpetually depressed elf. <laughs> uh, he's got an amazing sword on him, but he c only he's the one who can use it, so it's really, it's, it's not that great because he's a mage. Now, mages can be great me meliors later on. Once they get all their spells, but right now, no. Early on, even at the end of the first game, they're not viable. I thank you for my freedom, at last, I am free for, of my dreary prison. Five and eighty days are far too long for for one of the fair folk to live as a dwarf. Five and eighty days, so fi eighty-five days? You look no better off than I, but my appreciation for my liberty bids me add my spells to your cause. I am Zan. Shall we face the impossible together? Certainly are welcome to join me. Another pair of hands can only help, especially when they wield powerful magic. Uh, it's hard enough just trying to keep our hopes up without you to bring them down. I'd rather you didn't join us. How'd you come to be trapped in this, in such an inhospitable place? Inhospitable place. Alas, I was sent to investigate the strange goings on about this area, and I landed at Cage for seemingly hopeless weeks on end. <clears throat> I have not seen the sun almost as long as I have not seen my home. Uh, in that case, I don't want you in my group. No, certainly. We're going to do this, so hopefully it'll send him 
to f the friendly armor somewhere. I thank you. However ineffective our actions may be, or however ineffective our actions be, I shall not rest until I have made my pay made payment to you. If you have searched through Mulahay's treasure, you may have found a sword among his documents. The sword is a moonblade, and it is my most most valued possession. And also, you can't use it. I imagine he's not going to be happy. While my stay with you was admit admittedly fruitless, it has at least been fun. I might even enjoy sharing another ill-fated adventure with you, should you ever require the use of my considerable talents. It shall be as you wish. Maybe he'll stay here. Okay. First things first, I need to see if we have any AoE options. Color spray is not what we want, because it's not going to work on the enemies that we have. They're going to be undead. Got nothing in there. Why don't we have anything in there? This goes on Kiven. It's a quest item, technically. All right, we got nothing there. Let's check our spells. Maybe we've got something. Uh, we may need entangle, but we're really not gonna have time to rest. I think we'd have to leave to rest, so I'm not gonna bother with it. Oh, da -da -da -da. sleep. That'll work on at least one group, not the other though. How may I be of assistance? All right, we're just gonna go in and see what happens. What is it? It shall be as you wish. I, I want you actually to stay up there. Alright. Tezok must have dispatched you, and my traitorous kobolds, kobolds let you pass, didn't they? I knew I could not trust them. Armed as such, you have obviously been sent to kill me by Sirik, not a measure of or leaves these mines unspoiled. And I am still to be executed? I'll not lose my head over this. Uh, yes, fool. Tezak is, is most displeased with thee. Reveal your treachery and mayhaps he will spare you. Tezak is unfair. I have no desire to cheat him or thee. My letters will show. They are in that chest. Take them, take them, and Tezak will see. I think this is bugged because he fights you either way. Let's at least get everybody I down here. Uh-huh. Stand back and watch this. Fools, you'll never have the chance to take anything. Minions come forth and kill the intruders. Yes. Alright. How may I be of assistance? Spawns a crap ton of minions up here. <laughs> you get out of the way. You come fight. What you want? Oh, what the heck? I don't remember them spawning over there. Now hopefully what we're gonna do is wait till they get close enough and blow them all up with Sun Soul Ray. Oh what the hell? It's not a cone? I thought it was a cone! What is it I must have remembered it wrong. Well, let's try color spray. It won't work on the undead, but it will work on the kobolds. See? Knocks them all down. Awesome. We need to k get him before he casts a spell, or we're going to be in trouble. It's probably an AoE confuse, or even worse, hold. I yield. I yield to thee. Accept my surrender as well you should. Tell us what has been happening here, and you may not... You may yet leave alive. I thank thee for thy mercy. Ah, I thank thee for thy mercy. There in the chest are all my letters. Take them and leave me be. I will bother you no more. Except you're attacking me, you dummy. Your wish. Uh huh. Yes. What is it this time? What do you want? Now normally you shouldn't uh, use all of your use all of your wands but because you can sell it and rebuy it with its charges restored however it's a wand of magic missile and we'll get plenty of them and the wand of magic missiles sucks i'm using him to kill the downed kobolds because they're easier to hit while they're down and piercing sucks versus skeleton skeletons <clears throat> Come on, get him. Why aren't you casting? Cast! Alright, now run. 
That was lucky. She should have probably died. Uh, do 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 do. You can switch instantly and drink potions instant. Oh no, she can't because she just cast a spell. This counts as a spell, so we're just gonna have her run away. Uh huh. My turn to save the day. I care not. I was just playing Battle Brothers, so I'm used to, to my movement keys uh, being W A S D. Is he dead? Good. Problem being, I can't exactly. I can't run with Rashad because they're blocking my way. What is it this time? I'll do it. All right. How are we gonna do this? I can't take the invisibility potion, so I'm just gonna have to survive the attack. Everybody, go ham on this dude. Oh, there we go. We got him out. And he's also dead. Let's not forget about her. See if we can't blind him. Or kill him outright. He only had four life. Not bad. Huh. Okay, so everything that could have gone wrong did go wrong. We got held. We didn't block his spells. And uh, we weren't able to AoE the enemies down, but we still survived somehow. Let's loot all these guys. You don't want to let him go because he has some good equipment and this, I don't know what to do with it, but I think it's useless. You know what, we'll take it just in case. It is certain that the death of One of the scrolls procs this. Of the folk of but you remain uneasy. While the half -orc may indeed have caused the evils that oh, he was a half-orc. The shortage of iron is too widespread to be his doing alone. His letters confirm your suspicions. Though they give little indication as to where his cohorts are hiding, they may have links to the bandits that currently plague the coast way. All right, so let's see what those actually those scrolls actually say. My servant Mulahe, I have sent you the kobolds, the kobolds and mineral poison that you require. Your task is to poison any iron ore that leaves these mines. Don't reveal your presence to the miners, or you will find yourself swamped by soldiers from the local Omnian garrison. <clears throat> My superiors have recently hired on the services of the Black Talon mercenaries and the Chill. With these soldiers at my disposal, I should be able to destroy any iron caravans entering the region from the south and east. I don't want to deal with iron coming from the, from the Nashkal mine, so don't fail your duty, Tazok. Taser face. <clears throat> my servant, Mulehe. Your progress in disrupting the flow of iron ore does not go as well as it should. How stupid can you be to allow your kobolds to murder the miners? With your presence revealed, you should be wary of enemies sent to stop your operation. Your task is a very simple one. If you continue to show that you can't do the job, you will be replaced. I will not send the kobolds you have requested as I need all the troops I possess to stop the flow of iron into this region. With this message, I have sent more of the mineral poison that you require. If you have any problems, then send a message to my contact in Baragost. His name is Transig, and he'll be staying at the Feld Post Inn. We know where that is, so we can go talk to him. All right, what are these? Honorary Ring of Sune. Can memorize one extra divine spell of each level from first to fourth. Nice. And it works with druids. I look forward. I shall commit to the task. All right, what do we got in here? Anything good? Your way. I shall commit to the task. What is it this time? You have but to ask. Some potions, good. Short sword, probably plus one. Need to I get. Rearrange my guys. Yes. I usually just go my main character and then most durable to least durable. You want your charisma guy in the first slot, but I never really bother with that. And then we have Zan's Moonblade. It's not blacked out. Why isn't it blacked out? This blade resists any attempt at using it. Likely it is attuned to its owner and none other, none other can wield it. The hilt bears the name Zan. Can't sell it either. Uh, armor class plus one, fire resistance 50%. That's really good. A lot of AoEs, or well, the dangerous AoE spells are fire. The ones you'll run into anyway. Thaco plus three, awesome. And 1d8 plus three. So, yep, very good weapon, but we can't use it. You have but to ask. I'm going to keep it for now. Just see if we can sell it. I don't know if I remember that right or not. Yes. 
Yes. Now, you are not safe yet. There are more enemies over here, so be very careful. They can be annoying too. You don't want to have to redo that fight, so quick save often. Uh huh. I'm pretty sure these are magic resist. They resist magic, but I'm gonna try anyway. Yep, magic resistance. I can never remember what oozes re resist what. Now, there is an exit right here, but you can't get back in from this way, so don't don't forget to do anything. Be very careful when you come in this area. There's a big group of people up here that will probably destroy you. Or is it up here? I don't know. But we're staying away from them. Big area. Where did it come out at? Oh, all the way over here. So actually, while we're here, I want to go north. There's a very special place that we want to have access to in a very long time. We don't want it right now. Although there is some stuff you can go buy there. But it's mostly like high-grade ammunition and stuff. Not stuff that you can spend right now. Nope. Must be to the right still. Alright, let's go back to Nashkel and get our fortune. The mayor should be very happy. You have but to ask. Oh, that's right. We need to go talk to this widow. She's not going to be happy. But it's experience, so let's do it. Hello there. What is it? I shall attend to it in a trice. Hello there. Sorry, we found nothing. We found his green stone ring, but I'm I'm afraid we think he's dead. He he's dead. My Joseph is dead. Uh, we're very sorry for your pain. Here, have this. Have his ring to remember him with. Thank you. Thank you for bringing me the news. 800 experience. Awesome. Surprised my guys aren't leveling up. I, I remember being higher level right here. There's a bar right here, but in every playthrough I've been through, I don't know what it does. So there's like there's no quests in here. There's a guy you can talk to, but he has a crap ton of dialogue, which I'm not going to go through. But basically he has a special power that he just disappears every once in a while. Is it Var Volo? You have but to ask. Let's at least watch him disappear. Uh, Greetings, blah, 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 blah. My comparis have an interest in the mines. Tell me what you know. Would you consent to another tale? I have interest in the story of the captain of the guard. Just let me finish my drink, and then we can carry on through the wee hours with our tales. It's surprising what one can learn at a simple country fair, hmm? I've traveled the length and breadth of Farron. Awfully familiar with that pointer, aren't you? I have a story for every man, woman, and child in Let's Farron. rest while we're here. I got some cheap beer for you. Nope. He doesn't even have beds. This place is so useless. It's just Volo, the bouncer, nothing. Okay. It's surprising what one can learn at his All right. Country it shall be as you wish. But yeah, know that he has the power to disappear, basically. I don't think he has complete control over it either. Basically, he told us about the captain of the guard. I guess he murdered his family and then ran away. We'll we'll find him eventually. He's the guy I wanted to find before we came here. Stand away, citizen. <clears throat> you have returned. It would seem I was right to trust you. The town thanks you wholeheartedly and, and is pleased to give you the proper reward. Please take this 900 gold for your efforts. It is a small fortune by anyone's standards. Thank you again. 1,000 experience, reputation, and 900 gold. Alright. Be very careful coming up here. This can be a difficult fight. That was a noble deed. I want to switch him to this, yes. and I want to go buy a sling and some bullets for Rasad. Let's I am prepared. I shall to the task. Yeah, I've got the gold. The iron actually, I need to check. He might actually be a dart thrower. Katana, scimitar, no. Okay. But we're going to give him darts. Because we don't have a dart user. He's only got five. But that'll do. Ninja toe. Just like a wakazashi, basically, and a scimitar. They may have slightly varying damages, but other than that, they're basically the same. If you see, he's got a large shield, plus one. 
Armor class 2 and an extra plus 1 versus missile attack, so that's 3 extra AC versus missile attacks. Pretty useful if you're using a shield person. Which we will, I mean we do him, but probably not worth it right now. Honorary Ring of Sune, 5,000 gold. Make sure you don't sell that. We want to keep some bandit scalps. There's a lady who wants them later. Hmm. We can identify now, so we don't need that. I want to keep that and this, just in case we, we run into needing it. I'm going to sell that. I never use them. They're good, but I never use them. Let's go ahead and identify these two. My prices are the best south of Waterdeep. Talos's gift. Lightning resistance? Yeah, electrical resistance plus 50%. Actually not too bad. There uh one of the spells you got to look out for and it's a lower level spell is lightning bolt. It's the one that killed us in uh what was it? It's the one that killed us in Baragost all those times. This is shock resistance. I just put it in here for a specific fight. Wait, you can't... Oh yeah, it's not ammunition, it's an actual weapon. I always forget. Okay. We're all ready to go. Let's look how many attacks per round he has. Real quick, since he's using darts. Uh, where is it? Number of attacks, three. Okay, so it's not four, it's three. How may I be what is it this time? It shall be and have everybody death. selected. Quick save. And then go ahead and come I up here. Death come for thee. Surrender, and thy passage shall be quicker. What? I'm not surrendering to anything. Struggle if you must, dead one. I do not mind working for my money. Why Nimble has been hired to deal with the likes of you, I'll never know. Make sure you get attacks in on him immediately. Ah! Kidding me, none of those hit. I need to get him out of the way. Because he's going to die from one magic missile. Looks like he had the aggro too. Nope. Sleep won't work on him. He's got too big of a hit dice. Ooh, somebody eight missile damage from Minx. Good, good job. Okay, he's afraid. Now we can attack. That was the easiest fight I've ever had with him. He's a high enough level wizard. I think it's four or five. That his magic missiles do a ton of damage. Why am I slow? Huh? Must have just been. Trick of the light. These are very good boots. We will identify them eventually. This is an improvision ring, not that great. This uh, is a really good spell, but only for your main character. It's fine familiar. You basically get to summon a little pet and it stays with you forever. But it's only good in the beginning and you can never let it die or you lose co one constitution point permanently. <laughs> it's a very bad penalty for dying. So basically, just treat it like a real party member. If if they die, reload the game. Never had they have 12 hit points in the beginning, so... And some of them have really good spells, too, and decent damage claws. What can you give me today? Let's go noble. You were startled out of sleep with a chill. Though the night is warm and calm. It is though someone has walked across your grave. And for a moment, you wonder if it was you. With this Ooh. Thought, the ground beneath you opens, and you are swept into the dark. When light returns, you do not find its presence comforting. Before you lay the empty mines of Nashkel, cleansed by your previous passage, you move through walls and floors alike, descending deeper and deeper, until a bloated figure comes into view. Mullahe, in no better shape than you left him, stands motionless before you. Held from whatever afterlife calls it, this foul apparition has been waiting for you. A dagger of bone hovers before it, ready for a willing hand to drive it deep. Had this creature breath, you were sure it would be hurling curses. It waits for the kill, a death beyond death, and knows no hope. 
You turn your back on the blade, and it clatters to the floor. Punishment enough shall find this creature in the land of the dead. You need not inflict any more upon him. Surprised and thankful, the visage of Mullahay hobbles forward and through you, off to whatever fate it deserves. Perhaps for safekeeping, it leaves a part of itself behind. It is a spark of hope that fills a space within you. A dagger-shaped hole you did not know was empty. There is a cry of rage from the depths, and the dagger of bone launches itself through the air. Your heart, its target. You awake just as it should have struck, and the cold sweat that covers you stings your eyes. A disapproving voice lingers in your ears, though it should have disappeared with the dream. You will learn. Nope, I'm a slow learner. All right, we gained another Cure Light Wounds charge. Awesome. Now, you get these spells periodically. I'm pretty sure it's tied to the chapter you're in. Um, each time when you, ha when you have one of those dreams. Or, like, okay, the first chapter would be getting Kali, or getting to Nashkel. The second chapter would be finishing the quest. I shall attend to it in a trice. We should get about five, I think five skills altogether. Uh, let's rest again, just to recharge our healing. All right, now let's go on some equipment hunting, maybe. I think that's what we want to do. Definitely need some Thaco to hit armor class zero, and I know where one of the best gloves are. We're gonna go back over here. You have but to ask. Just so we come in at the right area. We actually might not come in at the right area. I think you gotta go around regardless, but I want to see if I can cut off a little bit of it. Look at Rasad. He just I keeps getting faster and faster. Man. Your wish? Yes? Let's talk. But kicking for goodness. How may I be of assistance? I shall attend to it in a trice. Firewine Bridge. You have been waylaid by enemies. Cool. What is it this time? Good on you if you save the day. I, was... I am prepared. Yes. Good job, guys. No gold, just arrows, plenty of arrows. You have but to ask. Yeah, I'm going to have to go around, I think. There's actually, there's a wall here. Come on, don't make me go around. I don't want to go around. Oh, you suck. Let's see if there's any other way we can get by. Nope, can't go to the east. My training did not prepare me for such extended... You have been waylaid by enemies. Ooh, a half ogre. <laughs> wow. Oh my god, do we have this... Oh! No wonder the freaking Mullahay fight was so easy. Son of a bitch. I need to remember to change that. Sorry, guys. That's just terrible of me. Damn it all. I'm very disappointed in myself. You have been waylaid by enemies and... Go for the ice room! It shall be as you Casting spell you. My turn to save the day. What do you want? You have but to ask. How may I be Oh, somebody got a level. Nice. Oh, these are wargs. They're worth a lot more experience than war dogs. Your wish? I am prepared. I shall commit to the task. Don't bother. As you wish. What is it this time? I'll do it. No, you're supposed to be attacking Rasad, not him. Let's butt kicking for goodness. What is it this time? Kicking for goodness. Back home this way. My blade will cut you down to size. I shall commit to the task. I grow require slumber. I'm gone. Your wish? I understand. Jesus, that guy hit me for 16. Alright, who got a level? I did. Awesome. I'd like to know more about your search for the missing Sun Soul monks. After discovering our fellow Sun Soul monks had vanished from their monastery, we felt the truth must lie behind the name Alagoth. We spread out in pairs to investigate further. 
Gamaz and I used to life on Calamport streets, searched for rumors on the streets of that castle. Much of our investigation took place at night, under the benign gaze of Selune. You see, although the sun shines more brightly, it is the moon that reveals the truths hidden in darkness. That's cringy, Rasad. One night, we witnessed several shadowy figures assaulting a lone man on the street. We raced to his defense. The moon maiden blessed us, and we drove off his attackers. Despite our intervention, the man was gravely wounded. I remained with him, tending his wounds as best I could while calling for help. Gamaz, however, pursued the attackers. I shouted to him to come back, but he did not listen. Sometimes I wonder whether things would have been different if I had fallen. Uh, he, he should have gone with his brother, I think. You let your own brother run off after dangerous attackers? Remind, uh, no. I'm just going to ignore it and say what happened next. I suppose it might have been worse had I gone with him. Still, I wish that night I could have been two men. One to remain with the injured man. Another to go with my brother. When help finally arrived, I ran after Gamaz. I found him only a few streets away. My brother had fought bravely, slaying three of his attackers before he was brought down. Once more, I cried out for help. Men came soon, but not to aid me. Instead, they arrested me for fighting in the streets, leaving Gamaz to die in a pool of his own blood. When the guards released me the following day, Gamaz had died. They said he had been slain by shadow thieves. The guards could not even give me his body, for they had burned it with those of the other dead men. Uh, this is a lot sadder than I thought it would be. That's terrible. I'm sorry for your loss, Rasad. Thank you for your kindness. Disheartened by the tragedy, my fellow monks returned to Calamport. Gamaz and I had entered the monastery together as brothers. I could not return without him. Neither could I remain in Atkatla, a city that forever holds evil memories for me. I traveled north. At first, I thought I might visit the Monastery of the Sun in Waterdeep which they called the City of Splendors. Yet I was in no hurry to arrive. Every day since entering the Order of the Sun's Soul, I had striven to fill my heart with radiance that I may share it with others. After Gamaz's death, I felt only the shadows of grief and despair. Makes Perhaps sense. I have dwelt too long on such memories. I wish to share my inner light with you, not my inner darkness. What else can I tell you? Uh, tell me more about your training with the Sun Soul monks. My training at the Sun Soul Monastery began the moment the kindly monk brought Gamaz and me inside its walls. As you might imagine, there was a great deal of physical training. At first, we were assigned chores and exercises. We looked with envy upon the older initiates who practiced combat techniques while we swept the stones and prepared meals for our seniors. The monks taught us to read and write, and why it is important to do both with careful thought. We practiced debate, studied history, and answered endless quizzes about the 9,000 mysteries of Salune. We learned to meditate upon the moon, the shards, and the stars. We also learned to meditate on the darkness between them, for it falls to us to battle the servants of Salune's dark sister, Shar. At last, we learned to combine our learning, devotion, and physical prowess to project our inner light outward. With it, we combat the darkness inside or surrounding others. You must have been very good at it for the masters to send you on a mission to Arm. We all strove hard, but Gamaz was the best among us. None of the other monks could defeat him in combat. Only I could come close, but each time victory was within my grasp, he swept it away with some spectacular strike. Even among the elder students, Gamaz stood as a pillar of tradition and excellence. His death is a great loss, not only to me as his brother, but also to the entire order of the Sun Soul. <laughs> now that's a story you should use when begging. I almost want to give you money right now just to make you stop telling it. I'm sorry to bring up such a sad subject. Thank you for sharing it. I thought it best that you should know my past, since we traveled together. What else can I tell you? Ah, uh, that's it. That's all for now. Let's yes, talk later. I to it in a trice. Ah, you have we're in the same office. spot. Awesome. Okay. We're just going to have to run around. Let's save and rest since everybody's so damn tired. She should have another identify. These boots are awesome because armor class plus five versus missile attacks. We're gonna give it to her. She's the most susceptible to it, but I'm not sure if I wanna leave it on her. I mean, honestly, they shouldn't be attacking her anyway. 
And if they are, I don't think that 5 AC is going to do much. We'll give it to him, and he will be our missile tank and regular tank. Zombies. I am prepared. I shall commit to the task. Gonna save his son Sol Ray for a specific Mom, enemy coming up. They're pretty easy. They got decent hit points though, so you'll need to kite them around a little bit just to avoid getting killed. Or avoid taking damage, that is. What is it this time? I look forward to your I understand. <clears throat> hey -ya. Oh, they got me. They do non-lethal damage, apparently, so they couldn't kill me even if they wanted to. Non-lethal damage, it'll knock you down instead of killing you. At least that's my experience with it. 65 experience per zombie, not bad, too. Saw it is so much faster than everybody else. At least for now. Wait, who is that? Benton. Yes, you have but to ask. Hi, friend. Ho there, I am Benton, most devout follower of the great broken Ilamater. Ilmater, Ilmater. I wonder if any of you follow the path of the crying god. No, none of us worship Ilmater. So none of you venerate Ilmater. Well then, we must rectify this at once. Listen closely while I tell you the wonders that will come once you have converted to Ilma Ilmater's faith. Ilmater's faith. Da 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 da. God of suffering. Uh, excuse us, but some of us are sorcerers. Some of you are sorcerers. By all that's good and holy, you must stop your evil ways. Magic only leads to pain and misery. It is a wicked art, I tell you, a wicked art. Though I find it painful to stand in the presence of such vile necromancers, I will continue my sermon. Uh... What you're speaking of is true, but we just don't have the time or the inclination. I'm sorry you feel that way. I tried. Elon Matter knows I tried. How may I shall attend yeah, 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 yeah. What is it this time? It shall be as you wish. Yes? How may I be? I shall attend to it in a trice. And this is the famous Firewine Bridge, and there are zombies following me. What is it this time? Your wish? I am prepared. Yes. Take him out! Come on! You have but to All right, go, moving on. Who are you, Poe? He's a bard. Says a lot of nothing. Not right now, I fear I have other things that require my attention. He doesn't give you, uh, I think he tells you about Firewine Bridge, but I'll tell you about that when we're actually going to go here. Well, no, it's taken over by Cobalt. It was the site of an old battle, apparently. Maybe that's why all the uh, uh, zombies are here. There's, there's one of the entrances right there. But we're not going to go in there yet because I don't feel like facing groups of five old commanders at once. What we want to do is come up here and kill this guy. He's a famous swordsman yes. who likes to challenge people to duels to the death. I look forward to your instructions. Greetings, little ones. You have the look of, inex of experienced travels, and a few of you look to be fine warriors. My name is M Malum. Malum. I'm the Sword Coast's most skilled swordsman. Now you you may have heard of my name. I'm quite famous, after all. Uh, if you're such a good swear, you're wandering about the wilderness dressed in what amounts to rags. Uh, no, we haven't heard your name before. No, we're going to make fun of him. Are you insulting me? You had better not dare to insult me, or I'll show you the metal of my blade. Once I've drawn blood, I'm honor-bound to wet the blade. Well, why don't you draw your sword then so that we can see who's the better swordsman, you or our party? <laughs> Now you've done it, you'll be sorry for doubting my skill. So very sorry. Got probably one of the best gauntlets in the game, so you do need to kind of fight him. Holy shit. That did not work. I shall attend to it in a trot. Your wish? I understand. Yes. How may I be of assistance? Uh-huh want to blind you if I can. 
You're a clear fellow. guides my hand. Cool, squeaky wheel gets the kick. I look, I understand. Nope, not blinded. Yes? How may I be of assistance? Try again. What is it this time? Your wish? Silune guides my hand. This is the guy I was saving it for. Five damage? Wow, he's got a lot of health. A lot more than I remember. You rang? I am prepared. I shall commit to the task. Nope, still not blound. Blounded. Blinded. <laughs> He's not blound. My blame will cut you down to the side. Possibly frosty. Death. All right, good. Kiven got a level up. You have but to ask. Firewine Bridge. Thank you for telling us where we are. All right, sword's kind of a throwaway sword. It's good, but we already have a better long sword. However, these gloves are amazing. Whoops, wrong person. Especially considering we can't hit the broadside of a barn. She identify anything yet? No, no, no. Oh, yep, she got the arrows. 1d6 damage with missile. Uh, it does more damage than that. Why isn't it showing me? Oh, because we didn't identify it. I thought we did. Huh. Oh, well. How may I be able to... It shall be as you wish. Alright, let's get out of here. I actually want to see... We need to, go... we need to leave this fun. zone to the south. No, we already did, didn't we? Okay, so we can just leave. Where do we want to go now? Hmm. Hmm. Let's go. Let's go save Minx. Minx's friend. No, we can't. Crap. We'll have to go to Nashville first. You have been waylaid by enemies. Your wish. Don't get hit. What is it this time? I shall attend to it in a What do I have done had enough of this? It shall be as you wish. Yep, I've done had enough of this. There we go. It shall be as you wish. <laughs> All right. Let's move onward. You point. I we take too long. My charge is in desperate peril. If we do not go now, you are a coward. I shall okay. attend to it in a trice. Let's, uh, who do we want to be without for a little bit? Let's be without Imowen? No. Yes. Let's do Kevin. Let's level him up first. Alright, additional weapon proficiencies. One. Bunch of saves. Thaco reduced by one. Additional hit points gained ten. All right, what do we want him to use? He's already got halberd and longbow. We can't go anymore in longbow. Hmm. We can do two weapon style, but he gets this because he's a ranger. You can go one more point in it uh, for even more of a reduced penalty, basically. it's You basically have no penalty with your main hand and only a minus two Thaco penalty for your offhand. But we don't use that. Two-handed weapon style is... Uh, Minus the speed factor, but you double your crit range, so... Instead of just rolling a 20, you can also roll a 19. Which is useful, but we're not going to use them for that. Hmm. Let's go crossbow. Because there is a really good crossbow in the game, and we need somebody to use it. What do you want? I. What is it this time? want to save it, just in case it doesn't work out. Uh... Yes? How may I be of assistance? And since he's in there, he should stay in there until we come back. Because he needs to come talk to us to confirm that we are leaving the party. Or that he's... we want him yes. to leave. We still on hard? Or are we still on easy? Yes. Level up. Yeah, we get a level 2 pre-spell. And that means we get 2 because we have that ring. Additional hit points gained? 9. Let's see what we got. Alright, um, let's just do Chromatic Orb again. That's kind of what we want. We should go over what this actually does. This spell causes a two feet diameter sphere to appear in the caster's hand. When thrown, the sphere he, he, ah, heads unerringly 
unerringly to its target. The effect that the orb has upon the target varies with the level of the caster. Each orb will do more damage to the target against which there is no save and an effect against which the target must save for a spell with a plus six bonus. So they get a good chance to resist the extra effect. All right, level one blinds the target. We are level, what, three now? Uh, 1d4 damage and inflicts pain, minus one penalty to strength and uh, dexterity, AC, and Thaco. But we're at third, so it's going to do an extra 1d8 damage. Not bad. And at level four, it will be blind again. Wait, wasn't it blind at level one? Yeah. <laughs> oh, it, it blinds for one turn, which is a minute. Instead of one second, or instead of six seconds. All right, good berries, pretty crap. They only heal one, and you have to eat them one at a time. Slow poison, we'll need that. Mm, probably want two. Now nah, we'll just stick with one. Bark skin. When a priest casts bark skin, the bark skin spell upon a creature, its skin becomes as tough as bark, increasing its base armor class to six, plus one for every four levels of the priest. Uh, it's better later on. Not that great now. Flame blade. It's good if you're going to be fighting trolls because they only die from acid or fire. You can knock them down, but then you need to hit them with the flame blade. Charm person or mammal. That's what we're going to grab. Web. We'll grab one of them. Actually... I rarely ever use web because I think it's kind of cheaty. So let's just grab another slow poison. Okay. How may I be of I shall attend to it in a All right. Well, that's where we're going to leave it for now. We're going to go get Dinah Air next episode. And we're going to finagle it around so we can keep Minx without her in the party. So please leave a like or comment below. And feel free to subscribe for more full Let's Plays like this one. And that's my mama.